Hi, thanks for joining me. What I want to do is just do a little quick um, opening the box type thing with these paints that I just grabbed from Hobby Lobby. Now, I would compare them to the paints at um, Michael's, except, of course, I don't have great lighting in here, so these are much smaller this is like uh, 17 ounces and it's a nice container here and the paints that michaels have are in a tube similar to the basic brand and then they have this but this container is a quart size container and it's flow acrylic which is a little looser and that's for your pour type art projects that you're going to use. This, however, is supposed to be similar to just regular paint. I don't know how it stacks up. It may be between student grade and artist grade. I'm not sure. But it's not a heavy body paint. It didn't appear to be it. It doesn't feel like it. It's not a heavy body paint, so it's not really expensive. Uh, however, I'm going to do open this one. I've opened up a couple of other ones, and then I'm going to just put some over this old paint thing that was part of a demo. So what you're going to do, please excuse me for constantly turning this. I'm not get, I'm still not used to the orientation of the camera. So I'm going to take this off. And the thing I like about this is it's small and manageable. What I have been doing is um, taking the paint out of I have like a gallon size half gallon and gallon size containers that I ordered through the mail and I've been putting them in these squirt bottles these are like um, bottles for ketchup and mustard condiments so to speak I don't know what this one was for but it came to in a pack so it worked pretty good for what I was using it for and putting the paint in here allows me to portion it out on the palettes uh, quite easily. So I'll set those to the side. So I thought this was really nice. Straight off, it comes with a flip cap, which I like, a large flip cap. I don't like that it's uh, fat around. It's not as narrow as these are, but oh well. So once you open it, Two things you will notice. It is sealed with this sort of aluminum cello kind of whatever this is. So I'm going to take something to pull it off. This is a paint scraper. And I would recommend using a palette knife or something to get this off. As you can see, there's a lot of paint in the on this piece that you're going to throw away. So that comes off, and if you want to, wear gloves because it will get messy. Um, with this, you can either use a palette knife and scrape this off and put it on there, or just scrape it onto the rim, and it'll come off. However, again, it's a bit messy, and it makes no sense to throw all of that paint away because it's stuck on the lid part. Okay. So let me get rid of that. Wipe this off. Now the other thing you must know is you will have to pop out this little cardboard piece that's inside. The purpose of it, I don't know. However, I do know it's not going to pour through there. And you can poke a hole in it, but what will end up happening is this cardboard piece will get soaked from the paint and it will start to break off and be into your paint. Also, there's room, this lid is domed a little, so there's room between the cardboard piece and this opening, which means the paint will squirt all up in there, and so you don't want to waste it. Art materials are quite can be quite expensive. So just take the handle of a brush or something, or pencil or pen, and poke it through, and then remove that off. Once you did that, just screw the cap back on, and you're ready to go. 
So I'm going to squirt a little on this palette and see how it covers. I want you to be able to see that. The lighting isn't great in here. Okay, let me shake it down. Forgot. I have to act like mustard. Shake it down a little bit and then let's see what it looks like when it squirts out. Trying to see if the camera adjusts it yet. Okay. Okay, so it's not runny. It's a little thick, which is good. The consistency of it. I'm going to put some of this down. I don't know what color this is. Looks like a seafoam green or something. Which it really doesn't matter. I just want to see what the consistency of it is. And how it covers. So I don't need a lot, but I need enough. Okay, and this brush, it's a small brush. Let's see what the yellow does. Okay, so first off, that's kind of nice. It's not super thick. Again, it's not thick, but it'll, it'll do. So I just want to see what type of coverage it's going to do. That's not bad because the paint isn't that expensive so it really isn't that bad and those streaks if you can see that those streaks are probably coming from the brush itself because this is uh, the brush is kind of stiff so I just want to paint it here just to see what type of coverage That's not bad at all. That's quite a bit there, but this is a canvas, piece of canvas. So you know it has to be worked in to the grooves of the canvas. That's not bad. It's still, I can see the hat through there, so that means I'd have to... Of course, you know, you'll have to add... When you're trying to cover something like that, you have to add more. But that went on pretty good. Let's try this other color. And I have noticed that with some paints, other paint brands, certain paints are thicker than others. So no problem. I want to make sure I cover. It goes on nice and creamy. And so, as you can see, the yellow is a little more transparent. I didn't read the label, so I'm, I'm not really sure. The, the uh, containers normally tell you if something is a little more transparent or translucent than other paints. But I want to just scrub some in on an area. Like I did the yellow here, I'm just going to put some here. And then scrub it in, because I want to see what it looks like. That's not bad for coverage. So you can see the hat through there. You can see those colors through there like you could with the yellow. So you know you, you'll need another coat. But here, that is pretty good coverage on that piece. So different colors have different consistencies. But I really am kind of pleased with this. Let me see, this is a yellow ochre. I'm gonna put a little on this on here to see what it does. And this paint is a bit more expensive than these two paints are. Still has that nice creamy feel to it. And here I'm picking up paint because I didn't use as much as I did with the other one, but it's almost like that 
this uh, it looks like sea foam green or something similar to that I can see some of the hat through here but this paint is quite a bit more expensive than that and again I ordered it through um, from one of the online art supply stores and I cannot remember which one it was. They had several different brands. That, this one stacks up really well to this one. This one feels a little bit wetter than that one. As you can see, you can see through there. And it may be because it's that yellow again. It's a yellow ochre. But compared to this color here, that Hobby Lobby brand, it's called Master's Touch. Fine touch, it says. Easy pour top, it is. And they have different, several different colors. And depends on where you purchase it from, the location of the Hobby Lobby, what the price will be. Yes, I did find out that the uh, prices are not consistent across the board. So that paint I think I'm going to like this paint for what I'm using it for. It's uh, going to work really well. And again, it says acrylic, which it is, and you get 17 ounces in there. These were the two I tried out. Don't go by those prices that's on there because these were like discontinued or something. They had already raised the prices when I went in there. I just found a few at this, which is showing $8.99. So I found a few at that price, and they, they were on sale. So remember, if you can, grab the items when they're on sale so you're not paying the regular price for them. I really got two for one with these that were half price. And so as you see, it comes in the black. I didn't do the black, but I can. Let's see what it looks like. And I'm not using a lot of extra paint on here. I'm just, that has some kind of coverage there. So it depends on the color that you're using. That covered even when it was scrubbed in. So I think those uh, paints will stack up. Give them a try. Make sure you use the coupons. If you can find a coupon for them online, Hobby Lobby always has a coupon. But um, I think right now they are running a sale on these paints. A lot of their master touch, as they call them, paints are half price. Either the paints or the paint and the um, paint kits are half price. So try them. They're really easy to handle and much easier to handle than a large quart size or gallon size container although some of the larger ones will come with a pump on it and if not I know Michaels I'm, I'm not getting compensated for any of this I saw that Michaels had some large um, pump that would work inside the larger containers however these are portable and so you can carry them with you all right thanks for joining me until next time